Hello everyone. Welcome to the session of SAP Data Archiving. Today, in this session, we will discuss on introduction to data archiving. This session mainly focuses on what is meant by data archiving, what are the benefits of data archiving, what is the major objective of data archiving, and the features of data archiving. Before we start with a question, what is data archiving? Let us take a real time example. Suppose in your company, you are experiencing a rapid growth of SAP database because of which the users are complaining that they cannot access the data fast and the system performance is slow. The system administrator claims that database growth is too large, hence backup is taking too many hours and we require extra hardware. In this situation, can we delete the data from database to reduce the database? No, we cannot delete it because the business requires the old data for legal purpose. Hence, to overcome this situation, we require data archiving. Now let us look the definition of data archiving. Data archiving means removal of application data from SAP database and storing this data to an archive file. How it is done? This is done with help of write and delete programs using an archiving object. This archiving object refers to a business object internally. With help of this archiving object, the data from SAP application database is deleted and stored in the archive file. Thus, created archive files can further move to an external storage like file systems, storage servers, etc. If you see this diagram, the business object order are distributed across different SAP database tables like VBAK, VBUK, VBPA, etc. Now, when I archive the data using SD underscore VBAK archiving object, it combines the tables that are logically linked by the business object and the related data from the tables is archived. That is, the data is removed from the tables and stored in the archive files. So this is what data archiving is. What are the benefits I gain from data archiving? The major advantage is memory space issue get resolved. So doing data archiving regularly, the database growth will be in control. Hence, memory space issues will be resolved to some extent. As indicated, when the database growth is in control, the system performance also increases and users can access the data fast. One more advantage is that we are storing this archive data in archive files, though it is deleted from the database. So you can access this archive data later whenever you required it. So these are the major advantages of data archiving. Now let us see the major objective of data archiving. The data archiving will not completely do away with the database growth. It helps to control the database growth. It is clearly depicted in the picture. If you see the picture, the average growth of database of a company is 15 GB without archiving. On the first step, when I start archiving, the database growth reduced to 7 GB. With regular archiving, monthly the database growth is 7 GB only. Hence, I can say that with archiving, 
the database growth is under control this is the major objective of data archiving now what are the features of data archiving data archiving provides some special features like data security data compression and accessing archive data and converting the old archive files automatically let us see each one in detail data security how data security is provided by data archiving the data archiving procedure comprising of write and delete phases guarantees data security if any problem occurs during this process example when we are performing the write operation that is data from sap database is being written to an archive file there occurs any network error in that case what happens the process is interrupted because of which is the data lost no the data is not lost because the data still exists in the database so you can restart the process again so in this way the two step procedure of archiving ensures data security if you want to increase further more security you can include a third step called storage in between write and delete if you do storage before deletion the archive files are stored in external media first later it is deleted from the database this provides more security so either of the way by using two step procedure write and delete or by using three step procedure write store and delete sap data archiving provides data security feature the next most important feature is data compression before data is written to archive file it is compressed and stored in the file this compression takes place automatically and this can achieve up to a factor of 5 how much compression takes place will depend on the fields in the business object here we need to make a note of one point if we are archiving data from cluster tables compression will not take place additionally because the data in the cluster tables is already stored in the compression format hence no additional compression takes place while you are archiving the data so data compression is the next feature provided by the data archiving the one more feature and most important one is accessing the archive data as a part of archiving we are writing the data to archive file and deleting the data from database now can we access the data from archive files can we read it yes we can access the archive data from archive files this is done with help of archive management archive management majorly provides functions to read the data from the archive files sequentially or a single object data it also facilitate to reload the data back to database most important to remember reloading archive data to database can cause problems therefore it is not recommended to reload the data because before loading back the archive data there might happen many changes to the database it should be done only in the emergency situations now the next feature is converting old archive files so when you are reading archived data the system automatically will convert the data from archive file format to sap application data format this is done with help of adk archive development kit the archive development kit changes the database structures like field type field length etc and displays the data in the correct format note that the data in the archive file is not changed it is just converted and displayed at the application level now if suppose the database structures in the application have undergone major changes like the fields in one table are moved to another table or one table is divided into several tables 
in that case adk can handle it using a program which is provided by the application for the permanent conversion of existing old archive files so we can ensure that though there occurs any changes to the database structures at the application level old archive files are automatically converted and displayed back this is a one more feature of data archiving as we discussed earlier archive files can be stored in an external storage systems like file systems or storage servers it is majorly happened using api in content management system or by using archive link interface before the release of 4.6c archive link interface was used and from 4.6c we are making use of api in content management system so the interfaces are changed the functions are same adk is responsible to write the data from database to an archive file and delete the data from the database also if we want to store the archive file in an external storage adk makes use of cms or archive link and stores this archive file in the external storage and whenever you want to read the archive data that is from the archive file in the external storage adk will make use of this archive link or cms to access the archive files in the external storage and reads the data from the archive file this is how the interaction happens between adk and the interfaces archive link or cms now before concluding the session please note that data archiving is not meant for backup or restore backup and restore deals with protecting the contents of database from system failure so it is not same as data archiving and data archiving is not meant for deletion of test data only the data from completed business processes can be archived test data which does not have the completion status cannot be archived so it is not majorly meant for deletion of test data data archiving is not a migration tool data archiving does not mean storage of documents in storage system then what is data archiving in one sentence i can say that data archiving helps to control the database growth and improves the system performance so in this session we have seen what is the definition of data archiving what are its benefits what are its features what is the major objective and how it is linked to the external storage system thank you for watching the video please do subscribe and follow for more videos on sap data archiving